Ah, yes, an interesting book, this. It's only 160 pages, but it's it's interesting, but it's a bit odd, too, because all writing is sloping downwards, or strange, that. Well, have a look at the front. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And it's called Tilt as well, all about the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Sits in my bookcase like that, on a perfect lean. <laughs> Wonderful idea. Very, very clever, and a good read, actually. Now, here's another one in my collection about the Tower of Pisa. Look at this. These are photocopies of exactly the same the original master. There's no no difference, there's no trimming at all. And one looks as though it's leaning more than the other. I won't say which, you'll, you'll decide yourself, because when I swap them around, you'll find it hasn't altered. It still is the same one that seemed to lean a bit more, still seems to lean more, even though you've swapped them around. Isn't that strange? Something discovered only about 15 years ago and remarked upon, and it's a part of the in books and optical illusions. Well, this set me thinking about something which I'd seen but um, didn't have. But now I do, at last. Just received from one of our viewers, a wonderful dedicated viewer, Zara, who discussed this with a friend, something, a toy that Tim hasn't got, and she got someone to make one extraordinary. And it's a thumb toy. You push here and it leans like this. What a lovely thing to get. I'm so pleased. And if I can wiggle it around like that a little bit, that's a bit of fun too. And the poor little chap underneath is desperately trying to hold it up. Well, never mind, it's a bit of fun. But that is an absolute beauty. I'm so pleased to have it in my collection at last. And I couldn't be more pleased to receive it. Very, very pleased and very grateful to Zara. Thanks a million.